Okay, okay, listen, okay. I, I understand what you're saying, but the Flash trailer is so good. I can't in good conscience support something that has the psychotic maniac Ezra Miller as the main character. And there's not just one of them. There's two. That's a big uh-oh oopsie. I watched the Super Bowl yesterday like most Americans. And the worst part for me was not the bad call by the ref. The worst part for me was Ezra Miller jump scaring me during the commercials. How dare you do that to me? And I understand that some of you are super excited because Steve Harvey is reprising his role as Batman. Trust me, I understand, and that is super awesome. And they're also going to have Supergirl in this movie because all the boys are at Jupiter getting stupider and what have you. And I understand that they shot a lot of these scenes before Ezra Miller went sicko mode and did all that weird stuff. But if they are still going to release this movie to the general public, I feel like they should go all out and just hire criminals to advertise the movie. I would also like to point out that the villain for this movie is Zod, who's pretty much just Superman except he wears black and is evil. That's kind of right. Also, quick question. Why does this Barry have normal hair, but this one has a weirdo hair? Did the reverse Flash kill his barber instead of his mom in this timeline? But honestly, Ezra, if you're listening to this, bro, I have a great idea. Get together with Brie Larson and start a podcast titled Why Does Nobody Like Us? But honestly, I think Brie Larson and Ezra Miller would make an outstanding couple. Mainly for the fact Brie Larson's name rhymes with arson. And I'm sure Ezra Miller has done that or will do that in the future. Probably already has. But anyways, it appears that DC is unable to create a single good movie. So I'm going to help you out, DC. Here's a great movie idea for free. The Heckler. The story will follow Stuart Mosley, aka The Heckler, played by Danny DeVito, going into a comedy club where he heckles the supervillain The Jokester, played by Jared Leto, and the jokester gets really mad. And after the heckler gets done well heckling, he goes home to get a good night's rest. But unbeknownst to him, the jokester has rigged a bunch of Home Alone type traps in the heckler's home. So the heckler calls up his buddy Plastic Man, played by Shaquille O'Neal, obviously. And they have to stop the jokester. And at the very end of the movie, the heckler gives out a very emotional line. You know, jokester, sometimes we're all our greatest Heckler. And then he throws a sword into his heart. Imagine we got that masterpiece instead of this crap. Well guys, that's going to be the end of this video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And if you like Ezra Miller, stop doing that. He's kind of a weirdo.